Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course, you'll build this nighttime forest experience. It's very peaceful out here. The, I can look at the fire, the trees, the sky, and then all of a sudden, these annoying mosquitoes start to come at me. And it feels very real. It's very scary when they're so close. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, get rid of them. So I'm gonna be using a reticle, which is a gaze-based interaction I, uh, that can be used in VR, I'm going to use a reticle to kill them, get rid of them. Now our learning goals. We'll be creating this amazing VR experience, nighttime forest experience, and for that we'll be making extensive usage of the VR standard assets, which is a library created by Unity for us to use in cross-platform VR game development. We'll be using reticles for gaze-based interaction, and will include other elements such as skybox and also particle effects that you saw. Now, how is this course structured? At the very beginning, we'll look at our game design document. We'll create a game design document for our game so that we have a clear idea of what we're building. Then we're gonna dive into the VR standard assets and look at what's available there for us to use. Then we'll build the actual game. And at the end of the course, we'll have a discussion around performance and do some tweaking as well. Something that I quite like about online courses, and it's one of the reasons why I, I make courses and I also take a lot of courses, is that you can really learn at your own style. Learning and content has never been more accessible and um, affordable than in ever in human history, really, having access to all this amazing material. And that is why I really enjoy both making and consuming courses. And what we've learned after having over 200,000 students at Zemba is that people who are working on their own projects and also follow along and kind of stick to a weekly plan or, or make sure to not to um, spend too much time without going back to the lessons are the ones that get the best results. And there's not a single way, a single correct way of taking a course. It really it must suit your own learning style. Some people like to watch all the videos in a row, like a Netflix show. Other people uh, are very disciplined and they uh, watch maybe one a day. Or some other people just when they find the time, but it's important that you uh, that you keep at it and that you also work on your own projects. All right, so without further ado, let's get started and let's um, look at this game that we'll be building. 